Does salt make water boil any faster? Hi there, I'm Danny and this is Knowledgeica. Does salt make water boil faster? Does this old wives tale hold any truth? Turns out, no. If anything, it actually makes it boil slower. Salt makes it more difficult for water molecules to boil and transition into their gaseous water vapour phase. This therefore increases the water's boiling point in a process known as boiling point elevation. This salt water solution requires additional energy to reach the increased boiling point and so it will take longer. But why does salt increase boiling point in the first place? Regular table salt, known as sodium chloride, will break into sodium and chloride ions when dissolved in water. Sodium is positively charged while chloride is negatively charged. Opposites attract and they hang around the dipolar water molecule, which has positive and negative charged ends. These create an ion-dipole interaction, and this means additional energy is needed to move the water molecule away from the charged ions and into a gas. For every 58 grams of dissolved salt, the boiling point is increased by half a degree. For every 58 grams of dissolved salt, the boiling point is increased by half a degree per kilogram of water. So on a large scale, this could have a huge effect. Just think about seas and oceans. Regular pure water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, or 37.7778 Fahrenheit. Thanks, America. Depending on the sea or ocean, there may be more or less salt present, but let's estimate that there are 40 grams of salt per litre in the Mediterranean Sea. Not all of this will be sodium chloride in the real world, but for the sake of this, let's say that there is. This Mediterranean Sea has a volume of about 3,750,000 cubic kilometres. Can anyone show me some quick maths? Leave your answers in the comments. Additionally, the salt particles will increase the amount of pressure needed to break the liquid boundary. Now, what earth does that mean? Now we are diving into some deeper thermodynamics. Hold on to your hats. Water boils when the atmospheric pressure is matched by that of the water pressure. The liquid water molecules can become water vapour. Not all of the salt will be completely dissolved, meaning that there will be free solute in the solution. This will give water molecules less room to enter its gaseous phase. Physical chemists call this change in entropy. Its entropy has been reduced. This means more energy is needed to overcome this to enter the gaseous water vapour phase. This can be explained with both the clausius clapeyron relation and Ruart's law. <sighs> and take a deep breath. We've covered the technical stuff. We can all relax a little bit now. Ooh. This boiling point elevation can occur due to any solute present in a liquid. So the same can be said regarding sugar and water. Its boiling point will also increase. This elevation is directly proportional to the molarity of the solution, which essentially means the more you add, the greater the boiling point. Makes sense, right? So next time you grab that salt shaker, use it for taste by all means, but maybe keep it to one side when it comes to the boiling part. So, is there any way to actually make water boil faster, given that we've now just written off salt? Well, technically there are a few ways, but none are particularly practical. The first method would require including a volatile substance. It evaporates quickly, but that's certainly going to lead to some pretty deadly pasta. And not only this, many of these compounds are flammable like really flammable, so please never ever try this one at home. Well, 
anywhere for that matter. It's volatile for a reason. Another approach would be to spread a greater heat onto a thinner, wider pan with a decreased water volume, complete with a lid. They won't change the water's boiling point, but these strategies will decrease the time required for that boiling point to ultimately be reached. A greater percentage of the water molecules will be in contact with the heated surface, meaning greater energy transfer. This, in turn, means a greater percentage of the molecules move around faster and the molecules can enter the gaseous water vapour phase quicker. The lid limits heat loss and so promotes faster heating. Failing all of that, if you do truly want to decrease the boiling point of water, try heading to Mount Everest. Seriously, if you boil water at a high altitude, the atmospheric pressure decreases. Remember we spoke about this earlier, the pressure of water need to reach the pressure of the atmosphere to enter the water vapour gaseous phase. So, if there is a lower atmospheric pressure to reach, then you have a lower boiling point. The pressure at the very top of Mount Everest, at 8,848 metres high, is about 34 kilopascals. This leads to water boiling at just 71 degrees Celsius. I know where I'm going for my midnight pasta feast. If you did enjoy this episode, please consider giving a thumbs up. If you really enjoyed this episode, maybe even stick around and become a subscriber. We have a good time here, talk about science and stuff. It's pretty cool. See you all next time for another installment of Random Learnings. Stay hungry for factuality. <laughs>